This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. The Cherokees were the first Native American tribe to develop a symbolic written language. They were also the first Native American tribe to have a written constitution and the first Native American tribe to have a newspaper. And the list goes on and on. The Cherokee is one of the most fascinating indigenous tribes in the United States of America. The Cherokee managed to assimilate themselves within the U.S., and yet they were sent far across the country, exiled from their ancestral homelands. What happened on their journey during the Trail of Tears? What side did they pick when the Civil War exploded onto the scene? Who led them to victory and brutal, brutal defeat? The truth is inside of this audiobook. Their story is one of the harshest in U.S. history. The Cherokee suffered hardships, practically from the moment they were born to the moment they died. From the Trail of Tears to the residential school system, their story is fraught with complications. In this new, exposing, an honest retelling of the Cherokee, you will listen to the highs and the lows of the Cherokee tribe, including the stories and moments that are often pushed under the rug. Here's a taste of what you will discover along the way. The life of the Cherokees before the Europeans ever set foot on the shores of the United States. In-depth research on the many treaties drawn between the Europeans and the Cherokee. Details about President Jackson's Trail of Tears and those who died along the way. The ways the Cherokee assimilated in the United States. The truth about life as a Cherokee on the reservation. Revelations about residential schools. The Cherokee police force. The first female principal chief of the Cherokee. And much more. Have you ever wondered how we came to be? How the sun came to rise in the morning and set in the evenings? Or perhaps why and how diseases came to plague humanity? There are reasons for everything whether it be gravity, bacteria, and viruses, or chemical combustion. There are reasons, but then there are answers. The Cherokees have the answers. The sun hates the people on earth, because when humans look at her, all they do is squint. On the other hand, the moon loves the people, because they smile and gaze upon the night's shining beauty. These are the answers, the tales that have spun across generations. They have survived disease, genocide, war, and poverty. Despite the colonizers' greatest efforts, these stories survived and are still passed on today. The Cherokee existed on this land long before the settlers arrived. Close to 23,000 years ago, what would become the Cherokee Nation crossed the Bering Land Bridge. This span of earth ran from northeastern Asia to Alaska. After the people arrived, they slowly migrated south. The Cherokee's history began long before Columbus set sail and long before the English settlers arrived on Roanoke. But history didn't record it. Western history relies on the written word, and the Cherokee did not develop a syllabary similar to an alphabet until the 1800s. Instead, their history was passed down orally. Oral tradition is still kept alive in the stories shared at campfires, powwows, or around the kitchen table. This cultural practice is one of the many things that sets the Cherokee and the other indigenous peoples of America apart from the rest. American history tends to begin and end with the written word. Written word, documents, or stories, history is erased and forgotten, leaving many people behind with it. As is often heard and said, history is written by the victors. Two key words here, written and victors. When we look at indigenous history, it's clear who is writing it from the 1600s onward. Without alphabets or syllabaries, many Native American tribes relied solely on oral tales to keep track of their history. So U.S. history was initially written by the colonizers, not by the first inhabitants of the land. Let's consider the word victor. Who is the victor in American history? Or in the constant struggle between Native American independence and the settlers' wish for liberty, and the American dream. In many ways, the colonizers were victorious, and they got their wish. But in the process, they pillaged and plundered the land, ridding it of the majority of its native inhabitants, the native plant life, and native culture. 